In today's video, I want to show you how I'm going to wire or how I wired my 16S Active Balancer. If you see right now, these are the numbers where we're going to be connecting them. The B minus all the way to it and you come to the second channel here and all the way to the 16 you can see it right from here Sixteen channel see up there so I already wired up all the uh, the leads starting from the B minus is right here right here is attached to the first one all the way the second lead third fourth fifth six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen lead right here so after doing all this then I um, I decided to put the uh, put a little tie wire right here stick it into this thing and go through this jumpers here, different holes. So the minus is this one, B minus, then started poking into the first little hole and all the way across. I got my readings and I go all the way here. I got all my readings because these probes can fit inside these tiny holes. I know they are um, um, uh, multimeters with, has a little probes you can stick in there. I don't have those extensions. So I decided this is now the 16 uh, channel right here, 16 leg. Then you got it uh, to the first number one cell and wrap it there and look at it. We turn up to 56.7 volts. So 56.7 volts, you gotta be careful or you gotta be watchful when you do this. You see where the, the B all the way 16, all the way up here. Okay, so it goes in a string. If you look at that, you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So each capacitor right here represents one cell. Okay, and here goes the voltage on those capacitors. Sorry for the glare. Those are the voltages, 6.3 volts. Well, look at the the capacity, uh, the capacitor voltages. You can see them. The numbers there are not that. Uh, trying to focus and get this thing clear. These are the voltages. Okay, so each three rows of capacitor rep represent one cell. So if you look at it here, that goes to the 16 cell right there. So make sure you don't plug the the first eight cells on this end with the B minus. Watch closely, be careful, be patient. You know, hastiness doesn't take you anywhere, it leads you to destruction. So look at that. See here, all the way to the eight channel right there. The B minus all the way to number eight. So that's why this one with the black side is going to fit right here. And the other side right here, because it's 16 cells, it goes on the other side to complete the circuit. Stay tuned. Let me show you how it's all plugged in. All right, guys. So now we're gonna take this time remove these termination points here because this is how we tested the uh this meter and by the way check this video out kiwits okay I've done videos of this one it's a promotional someone sent this one for us so I'm using it now on the videos it has 
you can do untouchable or you can do a probe sensor to check for electricity and all that stuff so check this one on kiwit by jw solar usa yeah, it's a good device check them out and tell them jw solar usa sent you so we gotta be careful now like i said earlier and make sure we trying to locate this is the eye end of it from starting from the um, 9 10 all the way to 16 and this side here is gonna be from 1 to 8 so we're gonna plug in first this one that has the B minus where the black wire is you see the black wire so we're gonna plug this one in I just noticed uh, lights just turn on and uh, make sure that it's already in okay all right let's see what's going on here all right we have the first part in and you can see a blue light illuminating here see that so the balancer is already active for eight cells over there and we're gonna grab this other one here and plug it back in here and I noticed that when this guy came I think it's kind of a little bit broken that's the latch that's supposed to go in here and um, the balancing pro process is gonna start. Come on. So we got the cells already plugged in and uh, it's already seated. Make sure that everything is in tightly then it's already seated and we have the, the light is on see the blue light so it's doing the thing if we put this thing we put more charge into this guy right now this capacitor is gonna start getting warm each cell that is lower the capacity it's gonna start doing the balancing they started filling all these rows by rows you can check which cell is really working really hard right now to balance you can feel them that's how you test and feel the warmness or the, the the heat okay so this is how it works um right now i don't have a 48 volt charger here but you can see everything it's working on the corner right there, see the blue light. It has a sticker that comes with it, brilliant stick, 3M. See that? So now it's balancing the cells. Which cell is lower? It's gonna be adding. Which one is higher? It's bringing it up. So this completes our installation. How to install Active Balancer by JW Solar USA. And, um, some of my viewers used to say we want to see you do this hey, this is if i can do this it's the same as uh working on a bms that's how you wired bms so there's no difference balancers they're all the same the only thing you don't have to do any programming into this um uh, craziness that um uh, bms wants you to do you just let this thing and it does this thing okay so if you charge more than you go like um top balancing and that's how the balancer kicks in they started um regulating the voltages and everything works as planned so i use a uh, one of the flange here from nissan leaf the end of the, this where you can just use i think it's a m6 or m5 whatever m8 or m5 so put it right here for the positive and for the negative right there so the bus bars here 
um, I recycle them from um, Nissan Leaf, and these are so no sorry, not Nissan Leaf, Volkswagen E Golf bat uh, batteries. These are the boss bars. I cut them, end up doing it this way. Thanks for watching, and bye for now. The balancers are active now. It's doing its thing. So you can't see it because no uh, Bluetooth, so you can't see if they're working or not. You can't tell unless uh, we put back the probes and trying to check the voltages, how everything is working. All right, take care. Bye-bye for now.